Hey, welcome back. Today, I thought I'd do a quick video to show how I made this D-ring for my lightsaber model in plasticity. It's really pretty simple, but I thought it would be a good tutorial for anyone who's new to the program. So here I am in a new file, and I'll just drag and drop this reference image into the viewport, and I'll scale it down a little bit so it's roughly about two inches wide. Next, I'll hit the M key to open up the material window, and I'll enable opacity. Then I'll right click and come up here and lock the image so I won't accidentally select it while I'm working. And now I'll hit the number 7 key on the number pad to switch to top view. And I'll grab the corner rectangle tool, and I'll snap to the center grid point here, and then I'll hit C to drag out equally from the center. And I'll drag out until my edges are roughly in the center of the ring in the image on all four sides. Something like that. So now I need to create the basic shape of the ring. So I'll switch to vertex selection mode. And I'll select this vertex. And then hold down shift and select this other vertex. And then I can come down here and click the fillet button. Or I can just hit the keyboard shortcut B to start the command. Then I'll grab the handle, and depending on which way you drag your cursor, you'll either get a chamfer or a fillet. So I'll drag in this direction to create these rounded corners, and I'll drag over until the two vertices in the center are almost touching. And then I'll let go of my mouse button to end the command. And then I'll select these two vertices, and drag over until I get a rounded corner that looks about right. So now that I have the basic shape, I'll switch to edge mode. And you see my edge is already selected, so I'll come down here and click on the pipe tool. And that will create a pipe. And it will open up this pipe menu where you can set your parameters. And I think it's a little thin, so I want to increase the thickness by adjusting the section size. And I'll set it to 0 0.075, and then I'll right click to accept it. And now I'll unlock this image and delete it, since I don't need it anymore. And I'll get rid of this rectangle too. And now I'll switch to top view and create a block using the corner box tool. And I'll snap to the center grid point here. And then hit C so I can drag out equally from the center. And I'll drag out to about here. And click to set it and then right click to accept it. And I'll select this edge and put a chamfer on it. And then I'll drag it back to about here. And now I need to cut a hole in the block. So I'll click on the ring to select it. Then I'll click on this straight part of the ring to highlight it and then hit Shift D to duplicate it. And now I'm going to scale it up so it's just a little bit bigger than the ring. And now I need to cap these holes so I can use the pipe to cut a hole on the block. So I'll select this edge and then come down here to the Patch Holes tool. Or you can hit Shift J and that will close off the end. Then I'll come over to the other end and do the same thing. Select the edge. Close it up. And now I can select the box and Shift select the pipe. Then come down here to Boolean, make sure I'm set to Difference, and then click OK. And now I have a hole cut in the box. Or if I undo that, and select the box, and Shift select the pipe, then hit Q, and then right click, it does the same thing, just a little faster. And now the last thing I'll do is select the edge of the hole, and then Shift select this other hole, and I can put a little chamfer on the edge. And then if you want to rotate the ring so it's hanging down, select the ring, then hit R for rotate. And then over here you see you can hit V for pivot. And I can snap the pivot point to the center of the straight part of the ring here. And then I can rotate it around that pivot point so it's hanging down at 90 degrees. And that's going to do it for this one. 
If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.